Hey everybody, it's Michelle. I wanted to let you know that I am so excited to be here with you. I am going to be exclusively designing for Crafting on a Budget Store. And so for those of you who have missed many of my um, tutorials and fun things, um, it will all be on May's channel, um, which is Crafting on a Budget on YouTube. So you can find us there. The first couple set of projects that I'm going to make, I'm going to be using a fabulous, fabulous collection. This collection I have wanted since I saw it. And I hope that after I show it to you, you are going to run and go get it because it is darling. I love Halloween to begin with. Um, my daughter loves Halloween, so I do decorate for Halloween. I don't do scary. Um, we're real like dark, like skeleton kind of stuff. I don't do that, but I love the fun stuff. I love decorating witches' hats and and doing all fun kind of stuff like that. So when this amazing, amazing line came out, I flipped out. This is by Frank Garcia, and it is called 31, and it is a Halloween collection like none you have ever seen or will probably ever see again. It is so super cool, and it is shabby chic in a lot of ways, but yet it still has a lot of um, Hall Halloween elements to it traditional ones and it also has some vintage ones so it's really a mixture of a lot of different things going on and I didn't even realize it until I got the pads and really studied the actual artwork on the paper that I even fell in love with it more so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using so that you can get on to craftingonabudgetstore.com to get yours I know that this collection is sold out probably almost everywhere um you may be able to find a sheet or two somewhere but really it's very hard to find so i'm going to just take you through what i what i got and show them to you i got the six by six pad of course oh, see I'm so i'm not even used to doing this guys i have to get back in the groove um i got a six by six pad and I'm going to show you the paper separately so, you, so you'll see what's in those. I got these beautiful, beautiful flowers. Are, I mean, aren't they not amazing? And some of them, I don't know if you can see, some of them have spider webs stamped on them or drawn on them. I don't know how they do them. Um, this one has a, a little baby pumpkins on it. They're so cute. I mean, please, please get the flowers. Um, I know, you know, financially sometimes it's rough and you can't get every single part of the collection. I get it. I've been there. Um, but if you can grab the flowers, I think you won't be sorry. I think you'll be really happy that you got the flowers. This is the 12 by 12 pad. And to make it easier, I took a page out instead of doing the flip through of the actual pad because it takes up too much room and you're trying to flip it around and so i'm just going to go page by page here's the one page in the book i don't have them in order so i'm not going to say this is the first page because i don't think it is and this has like a journaling card it's got little bats it's got a place to list scary moments magical nights this says friday night haunted house trick-or-treat full moon black cats candy corn pumpkin patch Magical Air Costumes, October 31st, Pumpkin, Pumpkins and Halloween. It's so cute. Um, and then this one says Hocus Pocus, which is so cute. The reverse side of this is adorable. Look at these little ghosts. They are darling. I love them. They are so cute. So that's one page. Then you have the next page, another cut apart page that you can use, which is so adorable. You got your pumpkins up here, your batch, your cauldron, your pumpkins. You have hello pumpkin, which I think is adorable. You got your little witch's brooms, but look at the 
colors, guys. It's like so cool how Frank took the actual, um, you know, traditional black and orange, and then he threw in there some teals and some shabby colors, pinks, different shades of pink, some gold foil. Um, really, really cool. You have your little haunted house. I love this paper right here with all the little candy cane, candy lollipops and candy corn, which I do not like, by the way. Um, <laughs> just putting it out there. Uh, Moonlight. We have our witch's brew. We have happy Halloween. We have this cute little pumpkin bucket filled with candy and these sweet little ghosts. All the treats, not the tricks, no tricks. Your spider webs. And then this says book of magic. 31 and it has a little um which is hat which i love and then the reverse side of that are these darling little pumpkins so as you can see from the color scheme you know why i love it so much this page is full of your cauldrons um your 31 potion um and your book of magic and it's got really pretty um, gold foiled stars on it. It's just really, it's just done so beautifully. And I really wanted you to take a look at it. Look at this. This is your candy page. I love it. It's got the lollipop. I remember doing these wrapped ghosts when I was little. We put them on those dum dum lollipops and we put like a piece of white fabric on them and then we tied them at the you know at the top with like a ribbon and then we take like a black magic marker and make a ghost face and bring them into school um so that's what that reminds me of and of course there's candy corn maybe if candy corn was that color i would eat it i don't know um i'm just not big on candy corn look at these cats look at the happy halloween banners you have beautiful spider webs I mean, it's so funny to say beautiful spider webs because spider webs freak me out. Ask David. I'm constantly like, oh my gosh, kill it, kill it, kill it. Um, it's adorable. It's just adorable. These cats are so sweet. And then on the other side, I ripped mine a little bit. I was overzealous in pulling it out of the thing. Um, but you have these bubbles um, or polka dots if you want to call them polka dots and there's black splatters throughout it's just so cohesive and it's so beautiful then you have these fun ghosts with witches riding on their brooms and the witches are in orange and pink and i don't know if you can really pick up the gold flecks but there is gold gold flecks see like right around here there's gold gold flecks so it's really cool on the reverse side of this is very to me traditional halloween black with the orange stars and little splatters of white it, that is so cool and then we have our pumpkins which are so happy they're so happy to be on this paper again we have the gold foil stars around them they are so sweet i love them and on the reverse is a, a striped paper which i love because again it's pulling in all the colors from the collection and these two especially we would not normally not think of as halloween but here they are and i am so loving it so loving it and then we have this i would say this is like the atc sheet look at all the things on this sheet we have a spooky bingo card we have um spider webs we have a wicked witch and she's really not that wicked looking but of course she has her black cat which all witches should have uh pumpkin patch with your stacked colored pumpkins this is so cute. See, here's where we see, start seeing some vintage stuff brought in. This is you and my pumpkin, trick or treat. Oh, the candy. Look at the cat with his grin. He loves all his candy. We have um, the brooms. Here is another vintage. See, see what I'm saying? Um, it's Halloween. My boo. 
all the pumpkins and I put a spell on you. I love that. And then on the back of this one, we have all of the witch's brooms. And there's some stars there and some little um, polka dots. And um, the stars are all in pink. There, There's one that's open that just has white inside. Um, and there's teal ones. And then last but not least is another page that you can cut apart. We have up here, again, see, here we go with more vintage stuff. And then this beautiful gold foiled um, ghost. We have another bingo card, trick or treats. This one says pumpkins. Another vintage, she reminds me of Bewitched. Um, in fact, I wonder if that is who that is, but that's who she reminds me of. Um, and then here we have another vintage Halloween. We have some sugary looking pink pumpkins. We have a cat that says boo. We have Howie chewing gum whistle. So again, this is like a vintage advertisement. This is a vintage one for sure. It's Halloween. And here we go again with all the treats. And then on the reverse side of that, we have these amazing, amazing pink and black spider webs with tiny spiders. They're adorable. I love them. Um, so, so far I showed you 12 by 12. The six by six pad is absolutely identical to this. And I showed you the flowers. Now let me show you something so stinking adorable. These are some charms. There's other charms as well. I believe there's a haunted house and there's a pumpkin. Um, I chose the witch's hats because I just think they're too adorable for words. Um, they're definitely, as you know, I would say too stinking cute. So I had to have those. And then there is an ephemera pack and I will just kind of show you some different pieces. Here's Hey Pumpkin. It's Halloween. Here's that one witch that we saw. We have another pumpkin, more pumpkins. 31. I think if I do this, it's better. Here's a little candy corn here. Look at all these. There's so many of them in here. I don't want to see if the package says how many. 35 pieces. So that's a lot of pieces. That's a lot of ephemera pieces. Now some of these are in the paper pad that you can cut out, but it's always nice to have extras so that you don't have to ruin your whole sheet of paper just to get, you know, one little thing. Like we saw this little um, pumpkin uh, trick-or-treat basket. But after we saw this, it um, was on a big page. So you'd have to cut out a big part of the page to get that. So that's why I like getting the ephemera pieces. I think they're just so darling and so sweet. And then last but not least is the journaling cards. I love having journaling cards. They're replicas of the paper, different pieces of the paper. But the journaling cards add so much to everything that you do. They're great for tuck spots. They're great inside belly bands. They're great inside envelopes. They're just perfect. So I love having a selection of these so that I can just pop them wherever I want. I do hope that you get this collection. Um, I really do because I have a lot of projects in mind for this. Um, we're definitely going to do a paper bag album. We are going to do a triple explosion box and a loaded type of um, envelope and probably a couple more things. I definitely want to make a little mini um, journal as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of projects with this. So it would be a good investment for you because you will have a lot of ideas of different things to do. So I hope you will go on to craftingonabudgetstore.com, see what she has left, and scoop up as much as you can of this wonderful paper so that you can follow along and craft with me. I would love that so much. I've missed all of you, and I really do hope that you will um, come crafting with me. I think we'll have a great time. And like I said, all of my videos will be on craftingonabudget.com. Look at this little ghost. How cute.
craftingonabudget.com. It's uh, craftingonabudgetstore.com. It's an actual storefront. It's not just an online store. So you'll be able to find some wonderful things that I know that you will need. Um, so I look forward to doing some projects with you and I hope that you get on there and start ordering these now because I know there's not that many. I know that I've kind of looked around to see other places and not many people still have this collection. This collection did come out months ago in anticipation for Halloween. You know how the, the crafting cycle is everything comes out so early so this has been out for quite some time and people have really scooped it up so i'm so fortunate that may still has it and that you guys are able to get it so i hope that you will and i look forward to crafting with you so i will say see you later until the next time stay safe be well and god bless you all bye for now